Yo, what is going on guys? Such a 3 to 2 here and I'm your coach of the Portland Timbers in the All-Star Showdown League. And today I'm bringing you guys my ASL Week 10 match against Commander Milan, coach of the Amsterdam Alakazams. And uh, still on this uploading grind, you already know, you already know. And uh, last week we did play Cam, coach of the Washington Whalers. We took a unfortunate loss, but we we're looking to bounce back. Because playoff hopes are on the line. And when playoff hopes are on the line, we got to clutch up, so... Milan is 3-6 and six this season. Do not let the record shape your opinion of him if you don't know him as a coach. Um, he took over for uh, Brad, the commissioner, who was not having a good season already. Milan's not very used to this team. It's not his style. But, uh, yeah, he took over the team when it was at, like, 2-4 and four or something. So, Milan is he's kind of just going to coast through this season, honestly, and just get a better team next season. But, uh, yeah, let's just... Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just go ahead and start talking about this. Let me pull up the doc so I can see what um, Mons each side was able to bring. Turn down the music just a little bit for you guys so it's not crazy loud. Um, rosters. Okay, there we go. So Milan had the ability to bring Tapu Koko, Mamoswine, Suicune, Mandibuzz, Mega Agron, Delmize, Heracross, Blissey, Aselgore, Sensino. Archaeops and Mesprit, and we had the ability to bring Excadrill, Mega Charizard Y, Keldeo, Amoongus, Slowbro, Zygarde 10% are recently added Slurpuff, Gigalith, Scrafty, Electivire, Lycanroc Day, and Kecleon. So, you guys can see what we brought. We're bringing Slurpuff, we are bringing Charizard, we are bringing Excadrill, we are bringing Slowbro, Electivire, and Gigalith. Uh, Milan has chosen to bring Mega Agron, Blissey, Tapu Koko, Mandibuzz, Mesprit, and Suicune. So he's got a bit of a stallier team, which is, oh, just my favorite playstyle, dude. I hate stall. But, um, anyways, let's go ahead and start talking about the team that we're bringing. We got Strudel, the Slurpuff. We got the Shalonberry. Um, Dazzling Gleam, Cotton Guard, Sticky Web, and Wish, Unburden. Uh, we have 248 in HP, 124 in defense, 136 in speed, at a bold nature. So, pretty much the idea of this Slurpuff is I want to be able to take on his Heracross, which, because his Heracross is a huge, huge threat to my team. Um, it'll destroy me if I don't bring Slurpuff, and we got the Shalonberry on there, just in case he wants to run Facade, like with a Guts Flame Orb set. And uh, Wish, just for longevity. Sticky Web is really good against his team. Um, it helps out a lot. Cotton Guard is awesome because Cotton Guard makes it harder for him to break me. His best way to break me is Aggron. And then Dazzling Gleam just for general damage. Because if I pop the Shalonberry uh, with our speed, I think we're faster than Scarf Heracross. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. I think. But anyways, next up we got Spitfire, Mega Charizard Y. We got Flamethrower, Flare Blitz, Solar Beam, and Roost. 208 in speed, hasty nature, 252 special attack, and 48 in attack. Um, just the idea of this thing, it's a very good breaker against this team. His best answer is the Blissey. So we got Flare Blitz on there, I believe. I believe in Sun, we two-shot Blissey with Flare Blitz, which is awesome. A Solar Beam obviously on there for the Suicune, and then Roost just for longevity. We got the Janitor, our X Drill, Rock and Choice, Banded, Sand Rush, Earthquake, Iron Head, Rapid Spin, and Rock Slide, Adamant Nature, just max attack, max speed. Pretty simple there. Um, I just figured Earthquake, Iron Head, and Rock Slide was good enough coverage. And in case he's like trying to, I don't know, he could have something up his sleeve where he's trying to like hazard stack me. Just always have the potential rapid spin because I don't really need another move. But Banded Drill, Adamant Banded Drill is just going to hit so hard. Um, it's very, very nice at revenging the Cocoa, which is why we're bringing Sand right now. It destroys the Blissey. Um, it even rips through the Aggron, which is nice. So Drill is a huge breaker this week. Then we got Mondays, our Slowbro. We got Leftovers, Regenerator, Scald, Psy Shock, Psych Up, and Slack Off. Max physically defensive. And Scald and Psy Shock, just for, you know, general um, ways to hit things. Psy Shock is there for the Suicune, because this is a very good Suicune answer. I actually want him to bring Calm Mind in this matchup, because if he is a Calm Mind Suicune, I actually beat him with my Slowbro. Because, let's say he gets up to plus 4, so he's plus 3, plus 3. I go to my Slowbro, I live a Surf or a Scald. I then click Psych Up, I get all of his boosts, and I will be able to beat him because I have Psy Shock, which hits on the physical side. And my special attack will be boosted, but his defense won't be boosted, so that's awesome. Uh, slack Off, again, for longevity, even though I have regen, just helps out. We got JJ Watt, our Electivire, Expert Belt, Motor Drive, Thunder Punch, Earthquake, 
Volt Switch and Cross Chop. We have 252 in Attack, 4 in Defense, 76 in Special Defense, and 176 in Speed with a Jolly Nature. So this thing is, again, exceptional at breaking the Suicune. I had to bring it for that. It's also good against the Mandibuzz. Cross Chop can do a number to the Blissey. And yeah, it, it just felt like a good breaker. I can take I can take one to two hits from the Coco, depending on what those hits are. So it's just another answer outside of my drill for that thing. And then last but not least, we got Quartz, our Gigalith, Smooth Rock, just to get that extra couple turns of sand. We have Earthquake, Rock Slide, Toxic, and Stealth Rock, just max special defensive. This is my best Coco answer I'm outside of the drill. Um, so I'm bringing that for the Coco. Um, it can also take on a number of other things. So yeah. Good stuff there, and uh, I don't know what I'm leading, so we're just, we'll just start out. So we got Electivire leading out against the Aggron, and this is a pretty free Volt Switch. I don't see a ground type, and Volt Switch is going to hit the hardest, so easy, free Volt Switch. And just going to go out into my Slowbro, which Slowbro is going to take anything, and he's going to set up the Stealth Rock. So I might have to wrap his spin that later in the game, but um, now I can just opt to go for a Scald that just feel out what his team is going to be as he's going to go out into the Mesprit and we're going to see that to 27% so I mean solid chunk and he's going to double out into the Suicune as I'm going to go to my Zard I don't really know what he was predicting there possibly the Exudrill that's probably what he was thinking but um my Charizard should be able to beat this Suicune assuming it isn't Calm Mind Suicune and like I said if he is Calm Mind Suicune I beat him with Slowbro so I'm just going to go go ahead and stay in here get up that drought go for the Roost and he's going to go for a substitute. So this is a little bit scary, you know, if he's a setup variant. But I can just go for a solar beam pretty easily right about now. And he's just going to go for the skull. Like you're seeing, it just, it just does nothing. Zard is like an unfair mon because it beats water types too. Um, solar beam, you're going to see do absolutely nothing to Blissey. And uh, I'm going to roost here. I want to see what his best move to hit me with is. And he's just going to go for the wish. Because I wanted to scout a potential like HP rock. Uh, Milan is known to do unorthodox things so i wanted to scout for that and he's just gonna wish up the suicune so i'm like okay it's fine i just went for the flare blitz just trying to hit this thing hard um but he's gonna get his suicune wished up which is a little bit annoying but you know we can go into our electivire pretty easily here the scald is gonna hurt a little bit he's not gonna burn us which is really really good and i can just fire off a thunder punch but this mesprit does prove to be a rocky helmet variant uh we're gonna paralyze him though which doesn't really matter that much because anything that Mesprit would want to stay in on is faster than it anyways. Unless this is a Scarf set, but I'm just going to Volt Switch on out of there. My Electivire still has some usefulness, so we're going to go out into the drill now. Because I know he's probably not going to make that double, so we know that he's not Scarf because he's Rest. And I can just fire off an Earthquake. I know he's got to swap here. Actually, I just go for the Rapid Spin, yeah. I went for the Rapid Spin because it was either an Earthquake or Rapid Spin, and I figured... Zard is looking really, really good right now, so let's just rapid spin and get those hazards away. And then I'm going to go out of my Slurpuff, because I don't see Heracross, so Slurpuff's usefulness is pretty much diminished. I'm going to go for the Wish and Wish up my Electrovire. Electrovire. <laughs> Electivire. And we're going to get back up to full. Again, this is pretty much a turn one scenario. I just Volt Switch every single time on this Aggron. It's free chip. I do about a fifth of his health. I'm going to go out of my Zard Y. That was a very risky play. Because uh, I could go for the rock move, but I didn't go into my Zard last time. So I didn't figure that he would make that prediction. And he didn't, which is nice. So I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower, which Flamethrower into Flare Blitz. Um, that burn is a little bit substantial. Not really, though. Because I'm pretty sure Flare Blitz would have killed anyways. But yeah, we're going to be able to get rid of the Blissey. Flare Blitz Zard really coming in clutch right now. And Tapu Coco is going to come out. So I have a couple of plays that I can make. I can go into my Electivire predicting an electric move, I can go into my Gigalith, or I can go into my Drill. I'm just going to go into my dedicated answer, I'm going to go into my Gigalith, and he's going to set up an Iron Defense. So this is this is terrifying, because I don't deal well with setup, I, I just don't, I don't like playing against setup, it's not fun, but uh, I could just fire off a Toxic here, as he's going to set up another Iron Defense, just ensuring that my Drill can't kill, so at least he's on a timer here. That's, that's the main thing. He's going to Thunder Punch just a good amount. Um, Earthquake is going to do nothing, really. And he's going to... This man, this man has weakness policy. I am 100% terrified right about now. But he's going to be weakened. And he's going to go for the Brave Bird. So he was definitely predicting um, something to come in and want to take that. But Gigalith is going to be an absolute legend. He's going to take that thing out. And I'm going to go to my Slurpuff here. Might sound like a little bit of an odd play. But I expected rocks to come up, and I know that my Slurpuff can actually beat this Aggron. Um, 
which is nice, and I get up free webs. So, so I'm just going to go over the wish here, and it's a little curious to me that he's not clicking heavy slam. And I'm just going to go over the cotton guard now, and he's he's just not clicking a steel move. Maybe he doesn't have it, but um, we're going to be sitting nice and tall with our slurp up right here. And I just get to keep wishing. I mean, I have really no care in the world. Like, I'm not afraid of this Suicune because I have ways to beat it uh, with my Slowbro and with my Electivire. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and stay in Thunder Punch here. Crit <laughs> didn't matter. It was onto a sub. So he has Calm Mind Suicune. So I'm I'm not concerned at all because my Slowbro will just be able to beat it. But we're going to Thunder Punch. He's going to get the Rocky Helmet off. And we Volt Switch. So uh, Drill is going to come out. Drill is... It's, it's hard for Drill to do anything, honestly. Drill has a tough matchup moving forward. But I'm going to get some nice Iron Head damage off. That shows me that he's 100% physically defensive. And yeah, going to go out into the Slurp Puff. Do not want to take a foul play. I mean, Drill, while it's hard for it to prosper, I still have ways to go about it. And, you know, maybe we get the 6-0. So I'm going to get the Cotton Guard up. I'm going to get the Wish back on myself. This is going to go Sweet Coon. And I can just wish into my Electivire pretty freely. I mean, I'm in a very good position right now. He's going to Roar, which roars me into my Zard, which is not bad because we have a wish coming on the way. So uh, he he knows he's forced out because my Zard beats his Suicune. And that Solar Beam damage is going to be just enough to put this thing in range of a Flamethrower. So Ian is going to go out into his Suicune. Or not Ian, but... Uh, <laughs> I read Cooney in the third, uh, but Milan is going to go out into the sweet Cooney. Going to get a burn. I mean, it's not really that important, honestly. We're going to kill with the crit. I mean, the crit didn't matter at all because there's two things you can click. Like, he would have been at, like, 15%. There's two things he can click. Call Mine, which I kill him on the next turn, or Scald, which you've seen does, like, 24%. So, that play doesn't really matter. Uh, he's just going to go into Agron. I'm going to just body that thing because he now knows that Sun is going to die off. And out comes the Mesprit. Now, I, I, at this point, I'm like, okay, the playoff race is pretty tight between me and T, me, TJ, Ian, and TCP. So I want as much differential as I possibly can. We're gonna go over the 6-0 here. Uh, nothing against Milan, but I need to try and get this 6-0 um, just to improve my differential a lot. So he's gonna toxic my hard, which is really, really annoying. Um, I'm gonna be able to get the roost off, which is nice though. And at this point, uh, this game is just trying to be able to beat this Mesprit. He's going to go out into the Mandibuzz, which I'm going to flamethrower and kill that thing. So at the very least, we lose 1-0 at the very least. But I'm going to go drill. I just have to like stall out this rest. And I mean, spoilers, I win the game. I don't I don't get the 6-0, unfortunately. But I do go for the Rapid Spin here because if I need my drill at some point, I can just wish it up with the Slurp Puff, which is what I'm going to try and do here. Um, I do get the win. I don't get the 6-0, though, so a little unfortunate, but I try to play around it as best as I possibly could, at least the best way that I think I could have done it. And I'm just going to go to my Evire, and I'm just going to start Thunder Punching it. I ju I've just determined that I need to just repeatedly Thunder Punch this thing so that Zard can come in and clean up, or Drill can come in and clean up. But I uh, just need a little bit more damage. Going to kill... Uh, gonna get killed by this Mesprit if he opts to Psychic, which he does get Psychic off the Sleep Talk. And then Zard is able to come out and just go for the Roost, because that is my safest, safest play. And we will be quite easily two-shotting this thing. It's gonna get bodied by this Flamethrower. It's gonna do 75%. It's gonna wake up. It's gonna go for the rest. But I know I'm going to be able to kill this thing before he kills me with Toxic. So we're just gonna go for Flamethrower again. Another 74. And even if even if you got Psychic there, uh, Psychic only does like 30%, so we're going to be fine. Zard is going to get that last kill. Zard got like... Zard killed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Zard got 5 kills in this game. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is going to be game. GG to Milan. And uh, let me go ahead and update the records real quick. Like, I, I feel like we played that pretty well. Uh, Milan was memeing a little bit, like with the Coco set. Um... That was a bit of memeing, but yeah, it was still a good game regardless. This is going to greatly help our playoff uh, our playoff run in the future and just going forward. But yeah, it's nice to bounce back after losing two very unfortunate games. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be our week 11 match against, I think I played Gran.
yeah, we played Grand, coach of the Kling Kling United, who's currently the number one seed. So look out for that game. And thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.